Hi hello everyone welcome or welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today I bring you the latest news because I'm going to talk about the performances of La Seraphim at Coachella. Some people are saying they did very well and silenced the haters, while others are saying they once again demonstrated that they can't sing. So, I'm going to give my opinion based on what I've seen from videos I've come across. To give you some context, Coachella is one of the largest and most famous music festivals in the world. It takes place annually in the Coachella Valley in California, typically over two weekends in April. The festival features a diverse lineup of musical artists spanning various genres, and in the last few years we had the opportunity to see gay pop artists slaying there. The first ones to attend were Blackpink. And we can say they set the standard because despite having a reputation within K-pop for being weak and not adding much to their performances, they did so well at this festival that now whenever people want to criticize them for the same reasons, they always bring up Coachella as an exception. And then La Seraphim went to this festival with a similar reputation of not being able to sing well, with the encores of EG behind them that weren't particularly good. Since their debut, certain members were criticized for not having good live vocals, especially Sakura. And how surprised would you be if I told you that I believe she was the one who did the best at Coachella? First, I'm going to show you some videos so you can see how they did. <laughs> I have so much to say and I don't even know where to begin. I believe they had moments of brilliance. In fact, the first videos I saw were quite good. But I feel that having a couple of good moments at such a big festival like Coachella, which offers so many opportunities in the international industry, simply isn't enough. To start with, the vocals were very, very far from what was expected and anticipated. I feel it's no secret that the girls of La Seraphim aren't as good at singing and have other strengths. But why didn't Che Won or Yun Jin do well either? Honestly, I expected a bit more from the others, but there are videos that are simply unforgivable. And the problem isn't so much having a slip up here or there those things happen, and I'd rather see an imperfect performance than a lip sync game, but the screams and general instability aren't forgivable either. We all know the vocal limits of each member, and the company should know them better than anyone. If you know, for example, that Sakura can't hit high notes and generally isn't very stable, don't give her lines that require it. And if there's a song that can't be sung because they're out of breath, then don't sing it. I connect this with the dancing because it seems they were more focused on the choreography than singing well, and don't get me wrong, it's fine for them to dance at Coachella, in the end, it's the essence of gay pop, but you are going to have to fill. I don't know if it was an hour of pure vocal where you can't hide how tired you are. That's why difficult choreography should be simplified, and it's not just for them anymore, but also for the audience who generally prefers to connect more with the artist and hear them sing well, and not hear their breathing all the time. Also, I'd like to add that Coachella isn't just another performance you have to adapt to it, change the choreography, the song, and above all, make it more rock oriented. I think that's why Blackpink succeeded so much because they knew their limitations, brought a live rock band, and only did those simpler choreographies. So, why didn't La Seraphim do that? It seems like common sense to change the songs, but they hardly did it. And not only that, but even though in a regular concert, 
you can stand and sing for an hour or even two, it's not the same as a stadium compared to a festival stage and it's not the same as any regular concert compared to a festival. It's just common sense. People at Coachella give it their all because it's a very fun experience, and artists feel that, so they get more excited and sing louder, resulting in more fatigue. That's why sometimes they scream because it's what the audience is asking for, but you have to control the force of your voice, because what is this? I don't want to see a single person saying, if you think it's so easy, get up on stage and do it yourself, because it's not me who's supposed to have dedicated my entire childhood and adolescence to singing. It's not me who left school to become an idol, and certainly not me or anyone else who criticizes this performance who have been practicing for months for that moment. I'm not sure whether to say the problem was with the company for thinking they could live up to this festival because I was really excited about these performances. I love Le Seraphim's songs, but they didn't know how to seize this opportunity. And did they not expect this? People have been criticizing the vocals of their artists since Easy came out, and they decide to put them in a situation like this. I don't want to absolve the girls of blame either, because in the end, they were the ones who got up there and put on this show but we can say that the situation wasn't very favorable. And this has been all, I hope you like it, make sure to like and subscribe if you did, it would help me a lot, see ya.